what's up everybody thanks for stopping by my channel it's theme queen and mentality be sure that you like share subscribe hit that notification bell down below so that way you get to know when i post all of my tea talks i hope everyone is doing well today i just came from over in the warrior community tidying up and finishing up with our book club meeting so i hope y'all join us over there next week on thursday to follow up with our book and all the other good jazz and commercials they are down in the comment section below so it's thursday yet again i hope everyone's doing well um time management time management is is uh sponsoring this tea talk episode today so let's get on into it so i need or i want to have a tea talk today with y'all in regards to a topic or a subtopic that came from my video the wrong focus um if you have not gone over there to look at that video to watch that video i encourage you to do so after this one um however i did receive a comment in the warrior community on facebook shouts out to them in regards to a couple of different things as far as allegorical in that video and one of them being um little red riding hood as you could tell by the thumbnail we are going to uh we need to tea talk about a couple of things when it comes to little red riding hood okay we all know the story about the big bad wolf and little red riding hood i think that's how it go i mean y'all can correct me down um in the comments down below i didn't really pay too much attention to them type of you know riddles rhymes and you know nursery stories however you want to put it all together in a pot i didn't listen to all these type of conspiracies <laughs> I didn't you know I was in third grade reading on a young adult level I, I really didn't know what was going on with that all of that all I know is if it don't look like what I am amongst on the daily you know outside of the normal broadcast news informing us if you see one of those and it's not like everything else I was walking amongst. You need to pull out your cell phone and start recording immediately. So we need to talk about Little Red Riding Hood. Now, like I said in my video, just to give you a synopsis, you know, I had someone lurking in a red coat. And they their snout didn't look nothing like Little Red Riding Hood's nose. You feel me? So as time went on, certain context clues poked out to me, came out to me. And a lot of discern, a lot of discernment in between, helped me realize when I was amongst a place that will put everybody at risk or or in danger. You know that can go for you completely shutting down and being turned off all the way to you know, like I said in one of my videos early, early, early in the days. When it comes down to me making sure that I know I don't deal with you, like literally, I will burn a house down with me in it damn near just to make my point crossed and cleared. You feel me? Amen. Now, hopefully you don't go to those quote unquote extremes. Please don't, you know, because that is an arson charge felony. Um, but nonetheless, you know, sometimes we have to realize the strongest muscle we have is our brain to help us put out those, you know, to prevent having those fires and we needing to think proactively after we didn't already react and fix the problem so like i told her okay well that's cool i can revisit you know going down memory lane with the wrong focus and we you know we could set up some scenery for some folks so again you know she found it to be hilarious but i kind of think of it to be one of those things we all need to make sure of because just as much and essential it is for us to clean our bodies every day that's how we need to guard our our spirit our boundaries our confidence our self-esteem our self-value that does not mean go out here and be uh, arrogant and be ignorant it doesn't mean that it just simply means that you are aware of yourself you can be humble and you can and you can be confident but when you don't understand there's a very dental floss thin ass line between that and arrogant you know you you need to go back to the drawing board and, and 
look at some things revise and review and edit and bring it back you feel me so we want to talk about little red riding hood now little red riding hood in, in my world how the story go is little red riding hood comes into you know into counter or interaction with a wolf with you know in my head like i said with the same cloak on you know what I'm saying? Far away, you don't know what you're walking up on. But when you get up close, if you understand, you know, certain things about, you know, human anatomy, things don't make sense. Talking walk don't make sense. Words and verbiage don't make sense when you're conversing with them. Then not so much of you need to make it so that you need to show your alertness because even the word says you need to stay calm at all times what i'm telling you is take note of what i'm about to tell you so then that way if you do come across it not so much of you being able to get up hurry and run away because we all know wolf dog you name it same thing what happens if you get up and you, you take off and run knowing that a dog sees you and they already defensive you take off and run, it's going to run behind you, right? Okay, well, Wolf is still a dog. So, it's still going to take off after you. Especially if they know you're trying to escape. You dig? So, we need to talk about, you know, wolves with that same off-season ass coat on. We need to talk about that wolf with that ugly ass poncho on. Okay? Amongst other things. And when I say wolves, that can be anything. Anything that at one point in time or period you were comfortable and suddenly it was like a 180. This was a person you did not know. You have not seen. Hell, you even went back outside and checked the damn address and make sure you were on the right street and at the right home address you won't plan you won't plan like something was really off in the sauce and for you to to make sure you have some clarity I'm pretty sure you asked a thousand questions just to make sure you can go back to your earlier ones and the answers match I'm pretty sure we all have done it I've done it hell I do it because sometimes you reassuring yourself is the best protection and security. Well, the same thing when it comes to these little, you know, uh, situations and trials and tribulations that come up. Those are identical to wolves as well. Because, see, they come typically in multiples. You know, if one bill is passed through, here come another. Or better yet, if something, you know, happens good, then here comes something trying to intercede and throw your rhythm and your rhythm and your path off. You feel me? And, and distract you. Those are wolves. You know, those things can attack and devour you if you are not up on how to protect yourself a lot of times people miss the fact of you can easily go and educate yourself for free the library card is free you know the the, the ability to go and learn beyond your horizon is complimentary and there and available it's up to you to walk on that path to want to see more than what you see every day okay understand that wolves are things places people that come in and literally they're dressed as to whatever it is you're comfortable in in that time in that moment in that season in that chapter and literally what it does that wolf does is sit here and watch you study you observe you you know we always love to watch these id channel series and, and episodes and stuff because i'm one of them but we also have to realize that even though you know in the cities and the suburbs it's real awkward and weird to see a wolf walking around well guess what there are people with that mentality and we need to get into a tea talk about this. So understand this is not to um, be used as as far as you always staying on the defensive. But it's it, it, it'll help you be able to under, understand that even though you have your walk again, this is why we should be around people that are going to be able to help us embrace who we are and encourage us to to pretty much go and explore discover don't be afraid to get out there because out there 
is more excited to get to know you than you being afraid of out there. You dig? So, get your water, get your wine, get whatever it is that you sipping on. Get it and bring it close. Because we need to talk. We need to talk between both of them. The wolf and the little red riding hood. Somebody little red riding line. <laughs> That's what it's called. Somebody is little red riding line. And we can't sit here and play a little game of clue to find out who's who. Okay? Okay. So, number one. I'm pretty sure I said this already. Oh, no, I didn't, but it I did. Okay, so when we are not able to realize the unknown can be a good thing as well as it can throw us off, wolves, people, places, things, you name it. When it comes into our mental, it becomes part of our pattern. When it becomes part of our pattern, a lot of us can make excuses as to why we can suddenly come off path. Think of it as far as, you know, you being able to get in at least 30 minutes a day of meditating or you being able to um, learn more about your leader or God or whatever the case may be. You take that time, that 30 minutes a day, but you add in whatever's wolf like and it takes you from being centered. Okay, now. Now it has put your spirituality under attack and eventually guess what happens when we don't realize wolf like things right what we say sign of time of the day man no we need to reevaluate what is purposeful and what is wolf like in our daily agenda in what we're going to do in our schedule in who we hang out with now you know we all like to get our water get our wine get whatever it is that we sipping on but Believe the word says, you know, you ain't supposed to be out here getting towed up to get drunk. You still need to be alert. You still need to be aware. Your life depends on it. Okay? So, another thing is, again, if you keep your denial of your current situation... <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. If, if you decide to stand and be stagnant in your current situation... You're denying yourself the opportunity and the chance to excel and overcome and achieve and accomplish. There's stair steps to all this success, baby. You part of the warrior community. You already know how this go. There are steps to all of this. Greatness is not overnight. Plants don't even grow overnight. Not a, not above ground. So we have to understand everything comes from a baseline level. And so does a, a wolf-like material place, person, or thing. It's designed to keep you there. It's designed to keep you under them. It's designed to keep you... Uh, it, 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 wolf-like things are designed to be superior to you because they are meant to break you down. You know? And a lot of times, like, the main thing that comes to mind for me is, like, cell phones. You know, jails have cell bars, correct? So why, why do you not think phones have that alternative name? Because they were inclined, they, they were destined to do something. They were destined to lock us out of reality. Well, yeah, out of reality and real knowledge and lock us into what and how they're able to control us wolf like things like to be dominant wolf like things like to manipulate wolf like things like to deceive wolf like things like to feel superior wolf like things will have you fucked up close your ears kids the church doors is open because denial is the factory of bitterness anger and resentment and if we don't do something at the core about what offends us to have us walk into shops and places mentally to take in denial to think that is comfortable understand it only takes a little bit of poison to knock somebody off and the same thing comes with wolf-like things little red riding line
mind if they sitting here telling you you a superhero when you out here doing all this other illicit situations and stuff? Okay, hell yeah, you you got the damn uh, strength of pie pie. You, I would too if I were on an eight ball. I would too, you know. But if and when you come down, okay, you choose to come down. You willing to jump off? It's it's up to you. But when you understand wolf-like things, you understand you can change your life in one or, or the other way. You can be willing to jump. You can be willing to change. But either way you look at it, both of them, both of them are going to have an ending. But only one is going to continue on. So, you know, just because they coming over asking for sugar don't mean that they need it. Okay? Understand. Even a wicked man will seem kind and generous. Okay, the same thing when it comes to wolf-like things. They always know when to come in. When you're in a slump, whether you're soaking or whether you're looking for sympathy, the three S's. Y'all write that down in the whatchamacallit so I can go ahead and make a video on that. Because that's a good one. Okay, that's what wolf-like things feed on. Ain't feed well, yeah, they feed off and on because in order for them to continue, they gotta feed off something. They're like parasites. Child's like a rash with no antibiotic and cure. That's the worst kind. The worst kind. Those are wolf like things. They're clutches, they're shackles, and they are inclined to make us slaves. Little red right line, y'all. Say it with me. Low red line, low red right line, cause ain't nobody over here. No kings and queens over here are slaves to anybody. Okay, who it is that we give and show our gratitude to help us improve our attitude? We call that a source. We call that the creator. Okay, we call that our leader. We call that our sky father. We don't sit around here and use words that make us feel like we are under a mind control. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. Because if God wants us to um, have us reach our un or have us understand that our potential is unlimited with him, he's shown up for putting shackles on you. Come on now, wolf like things do that. Worldly possessions, materials do that. Okay? So understand, even though that generous old car salesman may come over there and be like, Yeah, I can get you in this for only, you know, a hundred dollars yeah, uh, A B C D F G and you finally do the math, little red riding line, y'all. Little red line <laughs> Say it with me. Little red riding line. Remember that because guess what happens It's easy as they're able to get you up in there because they know you're coming here for something you need. Let me try to put you in something that you want so that way I can keep your attention. But in the midst, I'm, I, as I'm putting in your attention, I'm keeping you away from the reviews, the opportunity to go and check for different prices, seeing if there's better values and warranties somewhere else. And all the while you sitting there. Thinking that this person's answering your questions, this person's keeping you from the opportunity of either reading the fine print because they want to, hey, here, there, here, here. So you're going to sign here and then you're going to sign here. Make sure you sign date here and initial. Okay, get your hand out of the way. Let me read it so I know where I can do all those things. Like, come on. You 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 ain't gotta do all that. If I got if I have a question, I'm gonna ask you. Cause who likes to sign shit they don't know? Wolf like things will have you in a panic where if the end is coming, you trying to get it out the way. Wolf like things like to rush you. Child, you miss one payment. They damn near at your damn little door like this, your window like. System processes at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You think you can make that payment before then? I mean, you're three hours behind. You don't want to be in those type situations with business folks or levels, okay? So understand 
what you swishing with between the sheets just as much as you understand what you finger licking and signing on contracts it goes both ways it can be in paper it can be in person but they're all people places and things okay discernment is going to help you outrun the wolves in life because at some point the wolves in life they're on somebody else's food chain aren't wolves well, aren't lions above wolves so you have to understand how that works and last but not least this is the one that really hit home for me when I heard it. And that is, when trials present themselves, it makes your weakness apparent in the spiritual brim. Remember when I said that, you know, you need to keep yourself secure and protect it, protect your energy, understand karma. When I told y'all about that, I told y'all, y'all need to have a 24-7 a mindset about that because you know the world and time don't stop the spiritual world don't stop you feel me like there is no nine to five as to who's gonna you know not wake up tomorrow and who's granted mercy and they reopen tomorrow at 8 30 like they don't work on post office hours like it, it don't stop so when we sit here and we decide that we want to make friends or make decisions in vulnerable times like, hey girl let's go out you know you're feeling down no I, we don't need to go out we need to pray we need we need to do something that will help me get back centered getting fucked up and drunk and going to the club walking around barefooted is not the way to get yourself back together why would you go and get yourself more down than what you already are in the beginning fix that so then when you do want to go out you do want to have a good time you're not using it as a band-aid to be able to get you somewhere where you think looking outside or looking inside out people are like Oh, they'll think I'm okay. They'll think I'm good. Okay, makeup only covers but so much and honey with me if you ain't sleeping I'm a no. So as far as I'm concerned it doesn't mean that you have to be overly cautious or hyper vigilant. It just simply means that you just got to slow down a little bit and be able to look at things in an eyesight with a perspective that when it comes down to if this was to play out right now instantaneously, what will happen? Sometimes you really have to trust your instincts. You really do. You should, you should all the time. But the more we seem to create in this world, the more off track we are. And a lot of times, the very things, people, and places we go and deal and entertain that are supposed to be pick-me-ups for us are really just basements for, you know, where it's easy to go to be able to get immediate results and cures but yet it's not the right prescription to fix the problem so you're always going to be a customer in the pharmacy of misery and denial and victimhood when you don't understand instead of you continuing to go to urgent care instead of you listening and dealing with wolf like things with hands that are like well I can't do this and I can't do that I'm not gonna keep going to you know urgent cares and small places like this when I have insurance I can actually go to my doctor you know it's just like at some point you have to understand that the, there's characteristics and every wolf like thing every distraction every indirect clue we need to know like look are you sharpening up on this knowledge or are you just trying to relearn this lesson you know a lot of times people cry out wolf and ain't nothing going on but when it's time for them to show up and show out and really mean something, I mean, hey, can't nobody take you serious because everybody think you playing. Okay? Wolf-like things like to catch you off guard. So, 
She just looked at me like, oh my goodness, yeah, girl. You need me to call a tow truck for your bottom lip? I'm just saying, because at the end of the day, my purpose is to help you avoid as much detriment mentally and spiritually as possible. And if I can use myself as one of those examples of being able to address those things before they think they're about to devour me, I'm an apex predator, baby. No! It's not going to happen but for the ones who deal with wolf like things and they can't really seem to see if there is if it's just them you know just being off or them actually being on to something no your third eye is open third eye is open now the question is how do you address the wolves in your life put it down below so other than that I will be sure to talk to y'all later. Be sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.